I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How are you? Uh, welcome to our daily devotion. Today's devotion, we are starting on a new topic on amazing love. And um, many of you, you have heard this word mentioned. Sometimes it's mentioned so many times in a day and uh, sometimes uh, maybe maybe people don't want to talk about it. But um, in the English dictionary, the word love means uh, profoundly tender, passionate affection for one another. It's a feeling of warm personal attachment or deep affection as for a parent, child or friend. But when we come to, Bibilic, uh, to the Bible, the characteristics of love itself are the focus rather than how it manifests between people. Now, where the dictionary focuses on what it is, the Bible defines love by the traits it expresses. Well, in um, Matthew chapter 22, verse 35 to 40, um, from the Amplified Bible, and one of their number, a lawyer, asked him, a question to test him, teacher, which kind of commandment is great and important, the principal kind in the law. Some commandments are light, which are, he which are heavy. And he replied to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, that is intellect. This is the great, most important principle and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as you do yourself. These two commandments sum up and upon them depend all the law and the prophets. So we are told that the first, the greatest commandment and the first commandment the greatest one, we are told it is. That is what Jesus said. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. That is the first one and the most important. And uh, we are given also a second one. So the first one is loving God. And the second one is you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. So these two, loving God and loving uh, our neighbor, is very, very important. I will be expounding on that, that in the next episode. But let's look at, uh, you know, Jesus was actually quoting Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5, which says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. So we see that, um, and we, we are also told in First John chapter 4, verse 19, we love because he first loved us. All love amongst all people exists because a loving God infused his created children with his nature. So we don't love because we, we know what love is or we are able to. We cannot love with our own power, with our own strength. But we love because God loved us and he's the one who infused, permitted that love in us because God's nature is love. He is love. And uh, also let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 8. The Bible says, um, love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. That is love. Love is, it bears all things. You're going to bear with one another. It believes all things. That means the things in God. It believes because you know what? We are believing in God because God is love. The all things we are talking about are in God. Is what God has said is what God is. 
that is what we are believing all everything that god is we believe he is what he has said in his word we believe it is going to come to pass hopes all things that is love love hopes you know what love is not a doubter love will believe will believe that you know what i you can be better than i mean what you are saying you're gonna do what you believe what you're believing god's for is gonna happen you are not going to believe that you are going to 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 grow deeper and deeper in the things of god and even grow spiritually and even become prosperous and then you later doubt you hope you're hoping that one day things are gonna be great you're believing that one day your people that are not born again will be born again. You are believing that the sickness you're having is going to be healed. You're believing you that is barren, that hasn't had a child, you are going to have a child because you, are, you, you hope all things. Love endures all things. What are you going through? There are some things that surely if it was not for love, you'd have given up but we thank god that you are able to endure some of these situations your place of work you're able to endure because you know what you love you love your job you love your people you love the people you work with you love even the person who has hired you you love love will cause you to endure and persevere quite a number of things Yes, you're seeing things are not going the way they should. But you know, you are bearing knowing that as you continue staying there and believing God for a change, your prayer is going to cause changes in that place. That is why you're enduring because of love. And I'm here to encourage each one of you that because of love, you are going to be patient and kind. Because you know what? Sometimes you give up on people. But we are going to be patient and even be kind to them. Those ones who have not been good to you, they have not treated you right, you are going to show them kindness. That is what patient is all about, being kind to them, even when they are not good to you. Love will not envy or boast. You know, you will not boast because of what God has blessed you. And you're looking at others and seeing as if it's not because they don't probably, maybe they don't work hard or they don't have favor. That is why they are the way they are. That's boasting. Then you shouldn't, then you see people, they are prospering, they are doing well, they, they are expanding, they are moving into levels you never even imagined. Some have been behind you, they have come and bypassed you. Then you feel bad. Love doesn't envy. It is not even arrogant or rude. If you've been arrogant and unrude, you, you know what, you don't have love. You can't be arrogant with one another and be told that you, are, you love these people. You're going, to be, you're, 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 you're going to be polite with one another. And, uh, the, and you also don't rejoice when the things are being done. You see people are doing the wrong things and you're rejoicing eh? because you know the outcome. Because of them continuing doing the wrong things, you know what the outcome is going to be. You don't rejoice in that. But you pray for that God is going to change so that they live right so that they can be blessed you don't you rejoice with the truth so can we start rejoicing with the truth and if something is false we know what do we do let's pray that it will be corrected and it will no longer be false it is going to be turned to be the right thing those ones who are lying they'll stop lying and start speaking the truth heavenly father we thank you for being so good to us Thank you for loving us dearly and even for knowing that you have imparted love in our, love in our lives. You have actually just uh, made sure that um, you, 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 you are helping us to be who we are, knowing that the nature of love is in, in our God. And even in our sinful nature, our God, you've continued to love us and even continue to pour your love on us. We are praying that, Heavenly Father, this love that you poured on us, that, Lord, we are going to make sure that it's transferred from us to others. We thank you, Lord, for the great things you have taught us today. We continue, Lord Jesus, to cherish your word, desire to continue to honor you, and even 
uh, love one another. We thank you that you bear with one another and even be patient with one another because of love. We honor you because of each and every country, each and every leader in every nation. We are speaking your love in their hearts, Lord, praying that you save them so that they can love and even desire to see others born again in their nations. We thank you, Father, even for the relatives who are not born again. Save them, Heavenly Father, so that they can be partakers of these blessings of your love. We thank you and we honor you and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. Please log into our website at www.agracem.org. Partner with us and uh, be ready to do great things together as God is going to do mighty things. I am declaring that mighty things are going to take place i'm telling you this ministry is going to grow large it is going to outgrow many so partner with this ministry because god is moving in a mighty way in this ministry and also follow us on facebook and even on youtube twitter and instagram at bishop dr grace karaoke and please like subscribe and even comment share let your friends know about what God is doing in this ministry and you will be blessed. I look forward to fellowship with you again. Shalom, shalom.